The darker colours might have only lasted two or three days. You might not have known that. Your client might come back and tell you and you never see them again because they say that only lasts three or four days, not the 14 um, days that we're saying. So with this lamp, we know if you follow the system, you're going to get the 14 days. A lot of people get three weeks. My toenails are so long at the moment because... Nicole did them how long? Six, seven weeks ago. Still look good. Gee, they're getting long. <laughs> so if you think about this, this is like an oven for cooking. This is your banana cake and this is your fruit cake. Now if you were to put that into any old stove at the same temperature for the same time, this one's not going to cook and we're probably going to overcook and burn that one. Okay, so when you're using old, different lamps, that's what's happening. You're either over curing or under curing. Yeah. We know with this lamp, it's going to do it perfect every time. Okay, now I won't speak for too much longer, but I want to show you how fabulous this is. These are like the iPads of lamps. Okay, to take the lid off, you'll see that we've got four globes. So it's a five finger cure, which saves a bit of time, and they're angled so that they cure my thumb and my little finger. All right. These globes are also reversible. I can see this one's a bit dirty. See it's dirty? I'm turning it around to get the clean side. So halfway through the life of your bulbs, you might like to try and do that. The other thing it has is for your feet, First of all, I'll show you. This is your finger guide. And when they get to the little tops, little dots at the top, the little braille, stop. We don't want to go any further. Okay. We take that out, and that's more room for your feet to go. Okay. And this also comes out so that you can sanitise that. And that'll have blue plastic on when you get it, so make sure you get that bit off as well. Okay. The other thing, it, um, there we go. So I'm going to press it on, and there's a little button here, the first one, which is A, and that's 10 seconds. What will we use A for? You get an elephant stamp, whoever said that. Very good. B is 90 seconds. We're not using that, that's for something new to come. But C is 120 seconds, which is two minutes that we use for everything else. So at this stage, we're only using A and C, okay? And there's just a little on button there. And I also, every now and then, like to check that all the globes are pushed in properly and just put on for 10 seconds. The other thing about this lamp, UV lights, it's all about the UV emissions, they'll shine blue forever. So if you're waiting for them to change colour, it doesn't happen. So we know that the UV output diminishes after 100 hours. So it has a count factor to tell you when to change the globes and you will see a big difference. When you get down to 100, down to zero, you'll find, it'll still be fine then, but if you kept it going, you'd have troubles and breakdown with your shellac. There's a little reset button here, and if I hold it down, it tells me I've got 98 hours of 
life left in those bulbs. Okay, so every now and then just check that. When it gets to zero, it'll stop and beep at you and you'll have to replace the bulbs and to reset it back to 99 hours, we hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold the button down until it goes back to 99 hours. Okay, but you've got to make sure you change the bulbs, otherwise you'll keep using them and you'll have breakdown in the, surf in the service. Any questions? So that's probably enough for now. So what we might do is a few demos and then after that, we'll come around and you can ask as many questions as you want. Oh, one thing, somebody asked me about pedicures. Is it, yeah. yeah, pedicures. I was speaking to Josephine how she uses it. Again, we recommend, Josephine, we do the pedicure before we do the yeah. spa or the wet part of it. Do the shellac first. Oh, sorry, do the shellac is what I meant to say. Yeah. Do you do that on your chairs or like pedicures? We actually do it on the spas, no water, so shake, buff and polish, yeah, on the towel. So if you put a towel, hold the machine, get the client to put the foot in, then you can let go. And then when she take the foot out, we put it there. But make sure there's no water. So like we, like we do in the salon, shake, buff and polish, clean your cuticles, shake, get the Has anybody else got an idea? What do you do? What do you do with your pennies? <laughs> with the lads? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, give a wash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good question. I wouldn't want to work on anybody's day, Smelly Pete. Yeah, give a wash. Wash. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Yeah. And then take it out, use the cool blue, use this, the other germs, yeah. then the yeah. all the nail work, the shellac, yeah. and then do your soap. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But you're allowed to wash, but yeah. make sure you dry really well. Yeah. 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 No, I don't want to wash. Yeah, if you've got a bath. Yeah, because you're able to get that pink in when you do that. No, you do your toe work first. So wash, dry, you do your cuticles first. What she's saying is the cuticles are No. No, because when you put your feet in water for a long time, the nail grow. Like you put water on bread, it grow. And then you leave outside in the sun, and when it dry, it go back. Same with toenail. So when you do pedicure, it goes soft. Yes. Your toenail, so it grow. When you put shellac, then after maybe two, three hour, shellac come off because the nail dry. Shellac shrink. Yeah. Is that good for your knees? Yeah. 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 So must do dry. But wash me quickly. Wash. Okay. But not so. <laughs> so, I know <laughs> these guys like to um, they like to really clean the cuticles, so that's where their concern stands. But then use that sanitizer as well. So, you all feel comfortable with that? Could you hear? One of the other things I nearly forgot to mention with shellac, has anybody had any wrinkling? Where the shellac's gone a bit wrinkly? No, you're all perfect. No, the same, yes. Yes, yes. That's because it's a bit thick and you haven't shaken the bottles. So come back thinner, thinner's better. And thinner cures better in the land. So better two thin coats than trying to do one thick coat. Sometimes they do kind of run off the cuticles and onto like the cuticles, like off the nail and onto the cuticles. Is that just in the shape of there? Yeah, make sure it's shake it really well and not thick. So, yeah. And we don't want it on the cuticles because that's where you'll get lifting. So really thin. So your first coat will be yuck. You know when you're doing red? When you polish, you want to see nice red two times. First time, it doesn't look nice. Um, the other thing you can do is layering and artwork. 
So Josephine's going to show you a little bit of artwork, how to do a French. Um, there's also some colours that have got sparkles and things so that you can add that over the top. Um, so as we're going along, and also I, before we finish, I want to go through the removal. Yeah. Okay. So over to Josephine. Okay. Oh, well, I'll talk to Where's your hands? Yeah, love it, it's cool. All right, so what I'm going to do first is, I'm going to do four different fingers. All right, so... Cool blue. With the cool blue, as I said, a bit for you and a bit for your client. She can rub her own hands, you don't have to do that. Well, you can do it. Too. Okay, so just prep your cuticles as normal. Don't use cuticle softener if you don't have to. What, what are we using? Um, yeah, cuticle, this one. So, All that one. depends yeah. how bad. This is called cuticle away. And it has alpha hydroxy in. Great for toes, great for people that have got bad cuticles. But if you use any cuticle product, make sure you wash their hands, get it off and dry it. Well, okay, don't leave anything on. This is fantastic, um, but it is very strong. And don't use your fingers to remove it because you'll start losing the skin on your fingers. Okay, scrub fresh. So can you remember what scrub fresh was for? This is really important. This is what takes the oils out of the nail bed. And you need to make sure you get down the sides, around that tree edge, and all over the nail. So a good, gentle massage or scrub. Yeah? Okay. With the base coat, this is really important too. Take your time with the base coat. If you miss part of the nail, It'll, you'll say, oh, it's shrunk back. hasn't shrunk back. You didn't get your um, base coat. The, your colours follow where your base coat's been. So if you miss a side of base coat, you'll find the colour will come back to wherever the base coat's been. His um, tie, or is he Hollywood? I don't know. Oh, Donald, Donald. Yeah. How long do we cure the base coat for? Oh, good girl. <laughs> Okay. Press the start button. It's a delayed start, so don't panic, it is working. There's also a little button at the back that comes on so that you can it tells you that the light's going. Do you want me to shake anything? I've given them a shake. Give them a shake. I'll give them a shake to see that. So this one's just a straightforward colour. What colour is that? Yeah. That's a bit more it's better gotcha. um, picture tonight. That's a much better picture tonight. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Can you all see the screen? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have that nail art brochure. Oh, I didn't see that today. Ah, yes, the one the big one, the nail art one. Is that asphalt? Asphalt, the grey. We're going to do layering on that one. Okay. French on the back. Do you do many French? Yeah. yeah. With the French, we normally put the pink on first because then it's cured for two minutes. If you put the white on, you've got to be really good because you're only going over the 10 second cure of the base coat. So normally the pink, nice and thin first. And there's about four or five different pinks that you can choose from. There's clear pinks, there's pinks with a hint of colour. There's more opaque pinks, which are better if people have got not very nice nails. You can camouflage some of the discoloration. 
and there's two wines. And you'll be getting all of them. There's cream cut, which is light white, and studio white, which is very natural. So of course, while this is curing, you'd be painting the other hand, so you wouldn't be just sitting around. La la la. <laughs> No. If you put it in the mind, yeah. <laughs> good question. We're talking about if you shellac it on a stick and people are saying put it in the microwave or put it in the hot light. You know what you're doing? You're cooking it. Yeah. You're making it worse. Our students cook it, it goes rock hard. How about just under your arm? Just under your arm. Under your arm. So with smell and gel, alcohol, acrylic, and acetate. each colour you can do dots and um, swirls so are you doing the artwork? Um, last. No. So Josephine's doing the French now. Now the French is one that people have trouble with wrinkling yeah. Yeah? because the white is so strong in the pigment we keep trying to make it perfect. And I got no wrinkles last night. No. So Maybe keep it's not. it thin. And not too wet. Alcohol, not too wet. Alcohol, not, not um, acetone, because acetone is what takes shellac away, isn't it? That's how we get rid of it. So alcohol for tidying up the smile. And nearly dry. The brush should be nearly dry. Why do you have to I'm using negligee. No, just put a B. No, no. If you can bring that white, you can do that. It's okay, but if you're going to put it down, you need to put pink, you could use the pink. It's just a bit of light pink. Yeah. So there's about four or five pinks. There's one that's see through. Oh, let's look at Joe's doing little dots and just doing swirls. 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 Psychedelic swirls. Very nice. 
one hit wonder. <laughs> These guys are very creative with nails. I'm very also simple. be careful not to leave your lids off and certainly don't put them in front of the light. Do any of you work in windows where the sun comes through? Try to keep your shellac away from the window because the sun has UV rays and even though the bottles have got block out on them, it can still cure them. So best to keep them away a little bit. Yeah, don't put your display in the window. Put your display back a little bit. Need to tell fire to leave that when they. Yeah. Any questions so far? I'll be asking questions. <laughs> So it's important that every coat we seal the free edge, okay? And if you think of the base coat and the top coat like a sandwich, we want to seal the colour in there. So, and you will get longer wear out of the shellac thing. Now you can layer as Josephine, she did a layer. Yeah. So you can't mix the colours together, but you can layer colours. So I use ash felt and moonlight roses together. In this folder, there's my, I'll show you, one for each salon. So there's a bit of blur about workshop, a little bit of information about shellac. But then there's some recipes for different colours that you can layer with. So they're good to do little tips um, and you can show clients. Don't go off the colour on this, it's just a photocopy. It's not very good, but the recipes are right. Okay. So what are you doing now, Joe? Just top coat. Just top coat. And see how she's sealing the free edge? And make sure you don't miss that little corner there. Okay. So there's some recipes. There's some information about shellac and the removal. No wrinkles. There's some question and answers, which hopefully I've told most of you about tonight, or your clients will ask you, but if you get a chance, it's worthwhile reading that. Did you know with um, you. the bottles of shellac, if you shake it up properly, you should get 20 sets of nails mm. out of each bottle, mm. but you've got to shake. There's also a little bit of troubleshooting like chemical, oh, a UV lamp. Does anybody ask you it's a UV lamp safe? Are they safe? Yeah, it's not yeah. Yeah. Completely safe. It's not the UV light that's in the tanning things. Yeah, yeah. The I'm UV lamp. Yeah. You can um you could even um, laminate that to show them if you wanted to. But it's like walking from the car into their home. That's about how much sunlight a UV lamp gives. Okay. Um, it's also talking about if people use chemicals, sometimes hairdressers or people that are cleaners, it may fade or not last as well. I mean, it's great, but if they're really rough on their nails, you know, dipping their hands in chemicals, they may get lifting. And the other big thing is white spots. Okay. Have any of you had white spots? That's because they need to use a sole oil to re-nourish that bed. Um, so put plenty of soil on. Just like your face every night. I don't look this beautiful just naturally. <laughs> you have to work at it and put cream in this face. <laughs> so you've got to put soul oil on your nails. Okay. And you can also get white spots from aggressive removal. So from pulling, the shellac should come off nice and easy. In fact, while we're doing it, do you want to do a removal on one of my fingers? So, to do the removal, we're going to use the wraps. The wraps were designed to take shellac off safely. Okay, so it's a bit like a, a baby's nappy. <laughs> so we put, 
Actually, I'll just let Josephine finish and then we'll do Yeah, that's not fair. Oh, yeah, we're Sorry. taking her uh, around. <laughs> yeah. So now, Josephine, what are you doing? Uh, alcohol. So that's that pure alcohol to get rid of the sticky. You like my smile? You teach me that one. <laughs> and my, student, my students teach me that one. Beautiful. And now solar oil. <laughs> so in the solar oil there's almond oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, jojoba. It's all natural, but it's fantastic. Yeah. Good for cuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good healing. That's I need to use it on my face. Thank you, darling. So can you see that? See how simple a little bit of artwork was? You can make dots, different sorts of things. I just want you to listen. This is the last part of the system, and this is really important. So there's a few important things. This is important. So we're using 99% or 100% pure? I think it's 99%. 99%. We're just putting the acetone straight on this pad here. Okay? And I hold it underneath the client's nail. It's nice and comfortable for her. And just tuck it over like this. I don't know if you can see better that way. It's a little bit of an angle. Yep. Tuck it in here. Pulling over, I like to hold it down and give a little pull, stretch a little bit. Really put it on nice and tight like a band-aid, almost like you're trying to cut off the circulation a little bit, okay? Just like that. And she should be able to walk around, have a cup of coffee, read the magazine, no problem. Ten minutes from the first, from the first one, you can put the timer on. <laughs> No, you know, in, in the 10 minutes, I say to her, which colour do you want this time? I'm going to come back next fortnight and make an appointment for you. What a pain in the neck. Yeah. Hey, now, well, you can have somebody set up to do that and just have it still sitting here. How many up to 10 fingers? And then you go, 10 fingers. 10 fingers. Very easy. Why don't you know my time?